and, and, and we're all part of this, this family, right? We're all part of this family. And so I wanna, I wanna share with you, I know we've, we've actually, uh, these baby bottles, you've seen a, a lot of these around. You've, I've, I know you've probably heard the dumping of the coins all the time as you walk in. These have, been, these have been around and they're floating around and people are putting in their spare coins. You know, putting in a nickel here, pennies here, dimes here. They're just throwing, throwing in money. And it's all going to, to, it says here, fill a bottle, save an orphan's life. And the cool thing is, is through this baby bottle, through your spare change, I get to be the one who gets to share with you that we have raised over $53,000 through these bottles. That's right. And that's all of you. That's all, that's all of you. That's all of us. Because you responded to God. And you said, yeah, I'll, I'll just take my spare change. What's, what can spare change do? $53,000. Well, what, I, I started thinking about it, and I said, well, what, what can you buy with $53,000? So I looked it up. I could go right now and get a Ford F-150 King Ranch Edition if I wanted to for $53,000. You know, I'm a, I'm a guy who likes pizza. So I've done the math, and for 29 years, I could go every day to Little Caesars and get pizza. I remember their commercial used to be pizza, pizza. That'd be pizza, 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 pizza. They'd keep going. And you know, I even got talking to Pastor Kirk about this. He would be willing for one year to be your personal butler. So if you had $53,000, he would take care of your kids. He'd do your laundry. He'd do your dishes. He'd bake your meals. You know, bake even some homemade bread every day when you come home from work. That's what, that's what Kirk would do. But, but that's what $53,000 can do. $53,000 can buy you a lot of things. But you know what? I want you all to look at these screens because what did this church do with $53,000 raised from these bottles. This is Lizzie, and this is my family. My name is Abby, and this is my family. I hope you don't mind. My name is Leah. My name is Eben. My name is Riley, and his name is Caden. And this is my family. My name is Sam. My name is Bennett, and this is my family. My name is Danielle, and this is my family. <laughs> my name is Chelsea. My name is Cammy, and this is our family. My name is Gertie. <laughs> my name is Gracie, and this is my family. <laughs> My name is JC. My name is Chris, and this is my family. And I'm a veteran, and that's my friend. My name is Jax. My name is Maddie. This, this is all our, our family. family. <laughs> this is Elijah and Alicia, and this is our family. My name is Nicholas, and this is my family. My name's Ashton. My name's Red, and this is my family. My, my name is Jaden, and this is my family. After your heart 
the people would see your love for the lost, the broken and hungry. You champion us to be in your hands and feet. And we set our gaze to follow your calling, knowing your light would lead us us onward this is our cry that all would know your name jesus the savior to all the hope of the world restored father all praise be to you you are our only hope. And we are your church. And we see the truth that we were all lost and desperate for you. Orphans no more. You've come to bring us home. Savior to all, hope of the world restore. Father, our praise be to you. You are our only hope. Yeah. Jesus, Savior to all, hope of the world restore. Father, Oh, praise be to you, you are our only hope. And we are only sons and daughters adopted in. And nothing can take away the love you shown. We are all your sons and daughters adopted in. We will worship you and praise your name. Jesus, Savior to all, hope of the world restore. Father, our praise be to you, you are our only hope. Jesus, Savior to all, hope of the world restored. Father, our praise be to you, you are our only hope. Tim Brown just, just wrote that song for, for just this service. And, uh, and so we want to invite all the kids on up here who've, who've been impacted with, with adoption. And it's just a cool picture of, of God and God's love. And I want to invite the families to be right up here. So all the families of these, uh, of these children, come on right up here. Don't be afraid. Everyone else, you can sit down. Don't worry, you'll stand later. So all the families can come on up. And so these, these families, they made a choice. These families are impacting these children. And now while these families come up, I want anyone who has wrapped around these families to stand up, maybe officially, maybe unofficially. Have you prayed for them? Have you, have you helped them out with different things? Have you have you really ministered to them? I want people who are on the rap families, raps, just, just stand up. And I also want anyone who, has a, who contributed in the baby bottles. If you have a baby bottle, if you contributed in those, stand up. 
Anyone who's done that in the past, you've given anything in these baby bottles. And now I want everyone else to stand up. I want everyone to stand up because we are all family. We are all impacting these children. All of these children who are up here, all these families here, we're all impacting each other as a family. We are all a family. And so as we go from here, I want you to take, if you filled this out, drop it off in a booth um, in the back. There'll be some fun stuff going on, face painting and all that. So, so, so drop this off. Also, we're going to have an information night where agencies will come and, uh, and, and they'll come and give you information. And, and that's this Wednesday night at 545. So you can come to that. But I want to I wanna spend some time right at the end here. And if you have been impacted by this message at all, maybe want to adopt, maybe want to, to wrap around a family, whatever it may be, these guys are going to stay up here. These families are going to stay up here and they're going to pray for you. So feel free to start coming on up if you want to get prayer. And also, you can come on up because these families also need prayer. And so you can come on up and you can pray for these families right now too. We want to have ministry time and we, we want to see the Holy Spirit come. But these families, they can all use your prayer as well. So if you want prayer, you can come on up and they'd love to pray for you. If you want to wrap around and pray for these families as well, you can come on up and you can pray for them. And so I just want to say a prayer. Father, I just thank you for these children that are amazing, beautiful, wonderful, and I thank you. You cared about each one of them. And I pray for these families, Lord, that you come and you bless them. And Father, I pray you keep moving in people's hearts on those stepping stones, whatever it may be. I pray you come. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week.